My name is Marvin Tomacara. I'm a police officer here at the Maricopa Community College District Police Department. So really the full extent of like a security company and a police department all mashed up in one. So, uh, so as far as uh, the policing type kind of end, we have a uh, full uh, investigation capability for any kind of crime that occurs on campus. So if a student reports, faculty, staff reports a crime, uh, we are fully uh, investigative certified to, to check those out. To, what separates us out from a regular police department, though, is that we also are responsible for the security measures here on campus. So that means uh, maintaining the closed circuit TV, uh, video, and audio around campus. There are several cameras here that we monitor. Uh, the alarm systems, fire alarm systems. Um, each classroom has a uh, call box activation or like an intercom system. If a student or teacher needs help, they just press the button and they will get an immediate response from, from us. Scottsdale Community College is a pretty safe environment and I'm going to say that with the caveat that you still have to pay attention to your surroundings and what's going on, but most of our calls are service oriented type calls. Um, from our faculty and, and staff we might get those calls where I left my keys in my office, you know, can you come help us get the keys back out? We also get those kind of calls for, for vehicles, uh, students going out to their vehicles. Now that recently our chief of police has uh, made a policy that we cannot do lockouts of vehicles any longer. We have to call up like a tow truck and they'll, do, they'll handle that for us. But we do have vehicle jump start. Uh, if your, your vehicle dies in the parking lot, we'll come out and try to get started with our jump start kit. And even if we can't get it started, uh, we can just put it on a list and you can keep it here for a few days until you can get a tow truck to, to move it out. So, Is there anything you would like to just tell to the general public at SEC here? Uh, you know, it's just that, um, you know, just like I said, it's safe here on campus uh, as far as you, when you look at our crime stats and things like that, you're going to see there's not a lot of crime reported here, uh, but again, that doesn't mean that uh, you're 100% safe and you should, uh, you know, I, I see a lot of students just before our interview here, a couple are walking by with their cell phones, you know, with their kind of heads buried in their cell phones and they got the earbuds in and totally oblivious to their surroundings. So if I had one big message that I would like to get out to the public is, hey, pay attention to your surroundings. You know, it, it, just because it's a safe environment doesn't mean crime you know, doesn't occur here. We need, to, uh, we need to pay attention to that and to trust your feelings. That's my other crime prevention tip I give commonly is trust your feelings. If something feels strange, feels wrong, um, you know, we all have that instinct where you go, something doesn't feel right here. Uh, learn to trust your instinct. It's actually kept me alive in this profession uh, a few times where I just had that little spidey sense, you know, bell in my head and, and when I trusted that, followed up on it, you know, it's always turned out to be, uh, I'm still here, so it's, uh, it's turned out to be a good thing for me to trust that and I encourage the citizens to trust their gut and pay attention to their surroundings, so the two big things.